See, this is the kind of uh, real world testing you get. Look at the, look how that one's bent, all right? These are the kind of trees that I'm buried in with these types of antennas. And you can see right here, I mean, I literally smacked those antennas going through here. So as far as real world testing, I'll show you right here, all right? I mean, <laughs> this is uh, definitely uh, real world testing. And so far that thing has held up and the SWR has maintained, including this Tar Heel here. That thing gets blasted. I mean, I already went through there and I thought these antennas were gone. Not only does the Diamond K400's, the K400 mounts hold and they do not move, that's the biggest thing here, see? Those K400 mounts are definitely rated for some serious, uh, serious banging around. KJ4YZI, Eric, you're up, dude. All right, Tom, hello, everybody. This is KJ4YZI, Orlando, Florida Mobile. Who can hear me today? Fifty-six, six on five, Kansas. Fifty-five, six from the state of Maine. All right, well, that's the the northeast uh, over to Wisconsin, Kansas, up to Ontario, down to Texas, and uh, and more. So it's working, and 17's looking good today. Tom, back to you. And on top of that, I could hit, I could hit the uh, SWR right here. Hello, radio. You can see 1.0, 1.1 to 1 on the perfect CB 382 Florida Mobile. So I don't even need to put these things on an analyzer. They're definitely working. This mount I had on this truck for the better part of 200,000 miles. And at some point when I switched trucks, again, I got another K400 because the coax inside was compromised in some spot, maybe from the way I ran it through the F-150 and the doors, and you can't really change this effectively. So uh, collectively, two mounts for over half a million miles, maybe 600,000 miles. But in those two mounts, this antenna never moved. Even crashing through those trees never gave me an issue. Now for the compact antenna over there, the same thing. In fact, when I got the compact antenna, the first video I did about that antenna, I showed that I, I was having an SWR issue and it wasn't the antenna, it wasn't me. You know, make sure before you go trimming an antenna that you got the right mount that's good. You could see how the old mount was rusting on the door. And um, somebody had told me years ago, they said, Eric, give the manufacturer a respect. The mount you have is X mount, and this mount is a diamond. Don't ever say it looks the same. It's the same with a different name. It's not. The diamond mounts are definitely superior. And there's other ones. I think Comet makes one stuff. That's great. But if you get one, China, Amazon, uh, eBay, this is what's going to happen. It's going to rust, right? But with this one on here, you got about 30-something thousand miles on this antenna, on this vehicle. And you can see uh, there's even some, you know, bugs and carcasses and stuff but this antenna right here is is used it's been beaten and it works with a flawless swr and i talk on 11 meters all over the country and the world on that perfect cb antenna lastly by compact antenna you have this little guy remember and this is still hanging on this is a cheapy mount this mount here is a a trunk lip mount but it stays on here i use this for aprs and a scanner um, because it seems to work great for a scanner and uh, for VHF, UHF, ham radio. You can use this for, you know, dual band uh, radios. And, and um, there's a whole separate video I've done on these antennas. I actually got one of these going on my tower with a ground plane kit for local communications for vertical. And uh, that's also a compact antenna. And that antenna, I'll take this off just to show you after how many miles in a couple of years. It's looking good. There's, I mean, the mount is old. The mount's not by Compact Tenna, but the mount is working. Um, so it pays to have good mounts. It pays to have good antennas. Look, look at this one. This one here, that is a Comet mount. Now, that Comet mount is old, and the rust is from an old mount. But this antenna, this SBB7, my gosh, that thing has three quarters of a million miles on it. I know that because I go by the mileage of each vehicle that I use for work and how many miles it has, usually 
200,000 miles and how many times I've changed it. And this antenna is still 1.1 to 1 VSWR. So no problem at all with the Comet mount or the Comet antennas. Hello, CQ, CQ, 382, Orlando, Florida Mobile, standing by. All right, thanks for the Great Lakes, 73382, Orlando, Florida Mobile's clear.